as I understand it, I was born on the 30th of August, 1937. I imagine my early years were happy. I got um, spoiled, I guess, and indeed I think I got quite fat as a baby. I was on my own until my brother came along about a year and three quarters later. Then the war came. We had bomb raids in London, and Epsom was part of the, the run-up for the uh, uh, various kind of bombers coming in from Germany, bombing London, and they often deposited their bombs on the way back in Epsom. And then I was evacuated, first of all, to Lowestoft, where I lived with my aunt. I couldn't get into the local schools because I failed my 11 plus. So they sent me off to a boarding school in Canterbury, Kent College. But in that school, I started off academically pretty poor. But in a, in a boys' public school, what's important, really, I mean, in those days, was your physical prowess, how you performed on the sports field, because that gave you the esteem, self-esteem. And that's certainly the only self-esteem I had I was a natural uh, achiever in sport. I wore white shorts, uh, which was standard practice in school, and a white top I think I had on, which was every, every boy had those on. And indeed, I, I noticed that when Roger Bannister broke the, the four-minute mile, he, he had exactly the same kind of uniform. Yes, I, I did break the high jump record at school. I think it was five feet seven and a half, I think it think it might have been. Interestingly, it, it was on the very same day I broke the long jump record at the same time. <laughs> yeah, so that was my early years. I left school. And I left school actually with three A-levels, um, biology, chemistry and physics. At St Andrews, students went around in a gown. In your first year, which is the um, Regent year, you wore it on both shoulders. Then the second year, you took it off the left shoulder. The third year, you took it off the, the right shoulder. And the fourth year, you had it off both shoulders. We all were, the, were exactly the same, the boys and the girls. What we didn't do, I don't think we wore any hat. So you see pictures of people throwing up their black mortarboards, if you like, at graduation nowadays. I don't recall that. I don't think we actually wore any headgear on, on graduation. We had to wear a hood, and that was a beautiful uh, ermine hood, which I still have. I'm reasonably sure I still have that. Every Saturday evening we went for things called hops, which was a... a a room filled with uh, dancing and things like that. You could pick a girl beforehand, if, if that's the way it went. I think it probably was, uh, which I think might be a bit different these days. I think, I think, I think the, the girls pick the boys, but I'm not absolutely sure what goes on these days. But I felt, at any rate, I was picking the girl. <laughs> I, might, I might not have been. And they used to dress up beautifully. So it encouraged me, actually, to not go around like a tramp in, in in my balls. But in, in these summer, summer balls, the, the Cayleys, they were Scottish affairs and a kilt was important. I managed to <coughs> acquire a, a kilt. Yeah, so I felt great um, in that. Slightly embarrassed to begin with, but uh, then I forgot. <laughs> right. The love of my life then, Valerie. It must have been in the late spring of 73, it might have been. I proposed to her and I said, how about it, we get married? And she looked at me, I can remember this, very carefully. And she said, she'll think about it. <laughs> she'll let me know. So we, we met each other the following week, week. I didn't dare broach the question again and she didn't either. But she did the second week we, we met up, the second week we met up, she said that she'd love to accept. We got married um, on the, the 14th of December, 74, yeah, 74 it was, yeah. And she looked gorgeous. She looked absolutely gorgeous. I don't think I'd ever seen her in a hat before. So I, I almost walked past her thinking, this can't be the lady I'm marrying. She never wears a hat.
but she wore this hat. I'd never seen the suit she wore before. Um, I guess that's customary. Um, but I thought she looked most elegant and very different. I was wearing this kind of reddish suit. A nice shirt, I think I had, which was red and white striped. Black shoes, all really round tip, nothing periwinkle about the shoes. I think that's come later. Yeah, I was smart. Uh, I was a bit um, conscious of the rather kind of um, flamboyant colour of it. It didn't suit me really, wearing a, a red or reddish suit. But uh, after a while I forgot about it. I've never really thought about what I wear, but I do realise that in clothes they do carry memories. Broken blue 